Hey, cuties! Life Funders has dropped their second pickup banner of the year. I have a feeling the pickups are only gonna accelerate from here, for certain reasons. Let's not waste any time and take a dive into the new Zodiac Transient Summon. Lightning Round! Half of these topics I've gone through in the past. What's the star rating say for these Zodiacs? Three, two, one, start! Is Thunderbird supposed to be a rooster? Anyway, let's hop right into the other picks of this transient summon. And here we have Exhibit A for proof of how extreme damage isn't everything in this game. He boasts a frightening amount of personal damage, breaking over 150,000 at his peak. His team follows up attacks amped by nearly tenfold. The catch? Low attack range, low effect range, low reliability, and low uptime. While he is audible, his accompanying utility is rather sparse. Personal debuff mitigation and a bit of charge full. If you aren't using him for board wipes, his occasional low range burst damage complements his damage mitigation and healing. And here he also has some fancy cheese when paired with a certain white tiger. Whether you're in it for his cheese or for his milk, you'll find Walk on Tanka a small delicacy to savor. Like Chiro's Panic Variant, Tatatomo suffers from early game swappable skill syndrome. Besides unreliable damage, he can also tank in a few ways. A bit of healing, some death resistance sprinkled in, and some damage reduction with skill denial. There are units who do each of these roles better, and there are units who do multiple of these roles better. These skills don't have too much harmony with each other, so ultimately you'll plug Tatatomo in as a unit that does a bunch of various but unreliable things with next to zero synergy potential and little openings for new battle strategies. On a final note, if you don't hear from me for the next few days, the Hakenshi stance have probably gotten to me by now. No. Step aside, Eita, Masashi, and Kurgane. Hold the real Slim Shady, please stand up. Still going strong two years after his release, Nomad stands as the strongest centerpiece to column clearing setups in the game. In tall maps, his extended movement resolves the issue of random spawning, his double amp and rate up significantly bolsters his shoulder partner's skill power, and, most importantly, his complete defense piercing bestowal package in with some debuff resistance ensures your entire team's damage won't be gatekept. A staple pick for farming in both scuffles and free quests, and his piercing with his amp makes him phenomenally useful in dungeons and many challenges too. If you got him, you now have a go-to auto-pick unit for any tall map quests you'll ever face. But how destructively he can penetrate, you won't be able to quit this dick. Should you pull? Overall, the quality of the low rarity features are quite high. So if you're looking to pad your lineup with multiple solid picks, this banner may be your guy. The prize jewel of the banner, Nomad, has exceptional strength too, as the strongest centerpiece unit to calm clearing in the game. But keep in mind, his role as both a centerpiece and as a defense piercer are replaceable, and so he falls just short of being a must-have. If you already have a triple column clear setup with some defense piercing built in, and your lineup looks healthy enough, then you can safely skip this banner. That's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!